you have anything to say about that? Am I on track on that? No, you're, you're, you're right on. It's all right. 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 What, one of the things about this is it isn't just my own inner experience projected out in big ways or in, in very uh, intimate ways, because I know a lot of your work has a real, at least in my experience, it's very intimate. I feel drawn in to your experience. I feel like it, it you know, I'm, I'm, there's a lot of feeling for me in your work. What I love, though, also, is that then you move into collaboration. I mean, you're a collaborative artist. I mean, that, that's how I view your work. Uh, and so much of it is bringing in incredible people and meeting them in this incredible space where, uh, you know, again, going back to this sort of Calder uh, analogy, can you speak to how you came to love the collaborative process, you know? That's, it's, it's really interesting because, again, you know, the quality in each of your work um, are so different. I, I, I love both of, of, of your work, but the idea that each of you takes me on a different ride. Because I often will go out and see, aren't it your films? I mean, what dreams may come when I see that movie and the ride? Of course, that one kind of more for visual effects. So clearly, you guys in, in the work that you did had images that you wanted to get in there that really up to its time, I can't think of a single film that had that quality, you know, but I have a poem I turn on when I want to go a particular place, or I, you know, go, there's, a, you know, I've been a member of LACMA, uh, the County Museum in Los Angeles, for years and years, and I go certain places within the museum when I want something, you know, um, and so it's powerful to know that artists and their media express, at least for me, aspects of my own experience, again, in a more there's an articulation that sometimes I can't, in my own life, t touch in, 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 the, in the limitations of daily life. But I know where to go, and the artists give me the, the use of language, portal into those places. There are frequencies, right? Yeah. I, I, I experience these frequencies, and when I look at your art, it is uh, so uh, jubilant. It is so joyful. It is so explosive. It is so um, masculine. So much spirit. You know, when I look at your art, I love the sensual. It's sensual. so sensual. It's so, so sensual. feminine. It's yeah. so about creating the, the space that holds. It is, it is so uh, yin. So that way, it's, you know, it's no accident. Right. <laughs> we look at these happy accidents. Look what we did.
Well, I love that of, of, of throwing things together again in that in that creative collaborative process of we don't know where this is taking us, but we're but we're willing to take the leap and willing to go for the ride and see what pops up on the side. Geometry is at the heart, and immediately we have Layla's piece of mind. Well, and it's, his pieces too. There are no, that's right. geometries and relationships. Yeah, 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 no, 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 but there's a geometry in that, right? There's a geometry in the in the lines, and there's a feeling in it. It takes me personally on a ride inward, you know. And I love the quality of heart felt, heart expressed, you know, uh, vision as art. It's something that you can point to. Because clearly, moving forward, uh, at least for me, again, I like to personalize it. I have a tendency sometimes to put it out there on the rest of the world. I realize if I can pull it in, then I have some ownership over my own experience. So for me, the work of really grounding again in my heart, and finding out, outward expressions for that, an artistic, of course, and every, the art of just the everyday interaction as well. Right? Well, we talked about on this point.
I want to invite you to share with our listeners uh, what is ahead of you. Uh, where, would, where would you like to go? Maybe even what is your, what is your uh, heart's desire? Chunk it down as much as you want. <laughs> um, my hope and, and vision for this world is that we're at a precipice of great expansion and we're in a time of taking quantum leap and that we all have the boldness and the phoenix rising within us to come to this time and really center. We're going to give you the last yeah, word. Yeah, last word. <laughs> what, what's up next for you? 